Hey guys, today we are in Osaka Prefecture, Namba Station, heading to Nara Prefecture. There was a table over here, but now seems like they have the Sakura Festival. Nara Station Sakura, it's a little bit late compared to the regular year, but finally the Sakura starts blooming. Today it's April 4th, 18 degrees. Wind is 4 meter per second because it's a little bit cloudy, little bit chilly too. But hopefully it will be a beautiful day after this. Now we are heading to the Osaka Namba Station. This is one of the biggest one-way street in Osaka, Midosuji. It used to be a wider lane, but now it became smaller because we have more pedestrian street. We used to have only pedestrian street, however, now we have the bicycle lane as well. Oh, by the way, hey guys, welcome back to Ryan's TV. I'm Ryan Senokai. Please don't forget to check my Instagram and Twitter account. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Let's keep walking. For going to Nala, Kintetsu Line is the easiest way to get there. And Osaka Namba Station is just over there at the corner. Here we go. This is the Kintetsu Osaka Namba Station. That's the Nankai Namba Station. From Nankai Namba Station, a little bit far, but still, it's the walking distance. Let's keep walking. Still, this Kintetsu Namba Station station, classic style compared to the other stations. There are many coin lockers, but you need to use the coins. You can't pay it with the train IC card. Oh, but this one here, it's the new one. You can use it with the train IC card and also the credit card. Also QR code too. <laughs> Pretty advanced one. And it seems like there are many empty places because there are many green signs over here. Also, money exchange as well. So this is the ticket counter. If you don't have the ticket, you can buy it here, but you can always use the train IC card too. So always better to get the train IC card. Let's keep walking. It is very simple. Yep, with the picture for Nara. Usually leaving from platform number one. Oh yeah, that's the train. I'm wondering if we can still take the seat. It's almost leaving sweet. So let's ride on. Seems like there are so many empty seats here. If you ride on the express train, it only takes 40 minutes from Osaka Namba Station to Nala Station. So it's really fast. Sweet, finally we arrived to Kintetsu Nala Station. Oh wow, look at this train heading to Kyoto. Oh my goodness. Looks pretty fancy train, huh? Looks like a first class. Wow, hope one day I can try this train too. Sightseeing Limited Express. Sweet. By the way, this is the train that we were riding. <laughs> it's classic one, but still pretty cute though. Speaking of the train, it was kind of a long ride. However, the Netflix is a perfect body. Anyway, so let's keep walking. <laughs> Look at the kids. The deer head is sweet. All right, so let's go to meet the real deer. I got to feed them. So it seems like Nala Station hasn't changed much. There are so many travelers compared to before though. There are coin lockers and also there's a huge coin lockers. But seems like all of them, it's used. Oh, still, there is availability. Price is 1,000 Japanese yen. It is huge. You can place, I guess, several luggages or a super big one. And there are many gacha phones too. <laughs> Look at this gacha phone. Gori Randosel. <laughs> Interesting. So firstly, let's go to the Nara Park. <laughs> Picture of Nara Park. It is so cute. However, 
the Nara Park's mascot is not that cute though. Anyways, let's get out from the station. We can just touch here. It costs 680 Japanese yen till here. Welcome to Nara! And also, yeah, that's the mascot of Nara Park. It's the Sentokun <laughs> mixing with deer and the Buddha. Uh, I think they could make the better one. Yeah, this real deer's cuter. Oh, they are selling the mochi, the fruit mochi, the strawberry one, and also the orange one. Looks pretty nice. And this is also something really popular in Nara Prefecture. It calls kaki no hazushi. So it's the sushi, but they use the persimmon leaves. Persimmon in Japanese called kaki, kaki. So that's why this one called kaki no hazushi. If you are heading to Nara Park, exit number two, this is the exit that you want to take. Let's keep walking. Oh my goodness, yeah, definitely. The atmosphere is different compared to the last time when I was here. <laughs> Super crowded, huh? This is the way to go to Nara Park, but before going to Nara Park, I want to grab something to eat. There is an arcade in front of the station, so let's eat something here. Oh my goodness, I didn't expect this much crowd in Nara. I'm wondering if we can find a place to eat. Seems like everywhere there are lines. It's already not the lunch time though. Look at this tonkatsu shop. <laughs> yeah, we got to wait for a while if we want to eat tonkatsu. That's okay. Let's keep walking. Let's go to the back street. Probably it will not be crowded like this. Yeah, because this is the main street, so there are so many travelers. But usually, if you go to the only one street away from the main street, there are much fewer people. After the arcade, there is a really popular mochi store. I'm <laughs> wondering how the line looks like. Let's keep walking. Yep, that's the place. Let's see. Oh my goodness. I think this is the longest line that I've ever seen for this mochi store. Wow! Price is only 180 Japanese yen. It's really fluffy and yummy. So it's really popular mochi place. It's okay. This time, let's explore the back street. Maybe we can find something interesting restaurant too. Let's keep walking. Oh, interesting. It's the halal food restaurant, huh? Usually, it's not that popular in Japan, but here, maybe since there are so many international travelers, so that's why. Ah, this place, they have the lunch menu, the pizza set, the pizza with salad, only 1,000 Japanese yen. Not bad at all, huh? This street, the atmosphere, and also the smell is different too. You know, somehow this place smells like my grandma's house, so maybe traditional. Japanese houses are here. I think so. Seems like there are not that many restaurants. There are more shops. Yeah, I'm wondering if we can find a restaurant. Oh, look at this street. Interesting. Seems like many miscellaneous shops here. Going more and more. Yeah. Remember, there were just so many travelers over there, but now seems like pretty much no one around here. Okay, how about this street? Maybe we can find some local restaurant. Oh, that's the dish shop. Nice atmosphere. And what is this place? Oh, Nara Tofu restaurant. Interesting. They have the healthy lunch. It's the tofu hamburg steak. Oh, pretty much everything is made by tofu. That must be healthy, huh? They have okonomiyaki and the yakisoba. Oh. <laughs> yeah, this place exactly looks like the back street. 
very interesting. So, seems like this is a place. Unfortunately, I believe it wasn't open. Let's find the next place. How about in the street? Can we find something to eat? <laughs> Let's see. Found restaurant, but uh, I guess most of the places it's already closed because it's not the lunch time. Hmm. Oh my goodness, I was planning to eat in Nara, so I didn't eat the lunch. I'm starving. <laughs> Hopefully we can find some place to eat. Let's keep walking. How about this restaurant? Oh, interesting. They have the sake kasu kuro nabe. Meaning sake kasu kuro to meaning professional. So sake kasu, sake leak professional hot pot. Price is 1,500. Japanese yen. Interesting. So seems like this is the one. Okay, why not? Let's see if we can eat here or not. So we take off the clothes here and the plate here. Ah, oh, interesting. That's the called kotatsu. There's a heater inside and the futon outside. So this table, it's warm. <laughs> Sweet. It's warmer. So they have the beer, price is 480 Japanese yen. Thinking about the, you know, the sightseeing place, not bad, huh? And also they have so many different kinds of sake. So those are the hot pot menu items. Oh, they have the oyster wine, price is 2,800 Japanese yen, however. I want to try something special here. Yeah, this one is limited in this store only. So let's do this. So eventually, I ordered this hot pot and also I add the extra oyster. One oyster, we can add it with 290 Japanese yen. I don't want it to eat the low oyster, however, I can just cook it in the hot pot, so it should be fine. Anyways, I'm really excited. Let's eat! That's a very nice atmosphere. Probably if this place was in the main street, this place would be super packed up. Wow, sweet! It's much bigger than what I thought! Look at that! <laughs> it's fancy! Probably this looks better. It's my very first time to try the sake leak hot pot. Hopefully it's good. <laughs> very interesting. By the way, they gave me the two extra oyster on the house because it looks better. Arigato! Alright, probably I need to mix it. Wow! That's a lot. <laughs> Hopefully, I don't mess it up. I want to place the oyster inside so that I can cook it more and more. And also the meat as well. Alright, let's eat. Itadakimasu. So I think it should be ready. There is a pork. Mm. We are in Nara, so price is 1,500 Japanese yen. I was expecting much fewer meat, but actually there are a bunch of meat inside. Speaking of the taste, nice dashi flavor, and after that, a little bit of sake leaks flavor comes. It's my very first time to try this kind of feeling. Very interesting and nice music choice. That's one of my favorite song. The song by Enflow. And this is the deep fried tofu. Mm. Oh, I didn't realize there is a chicken as well. Sweet. Excuse me, it was too hot. Yeah, this time make it cooler more. Mm. My first impression of the hot pot, I thought it had the strong flavor of the sake leaks, but actually there is not that much. Yeah, it's very interesting. Mm. And the next it's time for the oyster. Mm. 
I love oyster, especially in the hot pot. It's really soft and a nice hot pot flavor. Perfect. It is really hot though. And it's the time for the raspas. Oh, you know what? Actually, <laughs> it's already broke. That's okay. This way, it's much easier to eat. Mm. I told you. In the video, I always introduce the travel major places, but it's always fun to explore the back street too. And then sometimes, you know, you can find this kind of restaurants without crowds. Yeah, that's the biggest fun moment in the travel. So the popular way to eat this sake leaf hot pot after finish this, add the extra cheese and also udon or rice. However, I don't think I can eat anymore because if I eat more, probably I can't walk toward to the Todaizi and also the Kasuga Taisha. Still, we have a lot of work, so probably I'd better save my stomach. But if you want to enjoy the more, always there is an option. Anyway, so let's keep walking. Oh, that was pretty good. Speaking of the price, I add the extra oyster, so 1,960 Japanese yen, including tax. Thinking about the place and the price, it was pretty good. So if you like these sake leaks, definitely you gotta try here. All right, now let's keep walking toward to the Nala Park. Oh, now I realize where I am. So that's the Goju no To, and we are here. So Nala Park, must be over there since we are getting closer to the nala park probably we will encounter the deer soon let's see oh sweet sakura is blooming but still it's like a 70 percent huh oh here it's kofukuji this place used to be under construction but now we can see kofukuji perfectly Oh, I didn't know we can enter to the Kofukuji too, but it's okay. Let's keep walking. Now, Goju no To is under construction, but after finish that, it will be the perfect view with Kofukuji. <laughs> you know, now I can feel the smell of animal. <laughs> that means, yes, they are coming. We see sakura trees, but no deer. I can smell though, maybe after crossing that street we will be welcomed by deer. Oh, that's a deer clucker stand. That means, yes, the deer are coming. Oh, sweet, Sakura is blooming there. Let's go check there. This place called Himuro Jinja. Himuro, so he means ice. There is a place to wash your hand. In the past time, this place saved the water and also the ice. So that's why this place called the Himuro Shrine. There is some interesting tradition here. It's Kori Mikuji. It's the fortune telling. You can get the fortune telling over there and place it on the ice. Then you can see the result. Uh, seems like something has stirred it. That music called Gagaku. Gagaku. There are so many Emma. People write the wishes and hang it there. Oh, what's that? Uh, maybe that's a daemon or Tengu? Not sure what it is. Let's go to the next spot. Oh, it's kind of weird today. Usually there are so many deer on the street, but today there are deer only in the park. Where are they? Maybe we can see more in the main part. Let's see. By the way, we're at the corner of the intersection. If you are just keep straight from Kintetsu Nara Station, we will arrive at this corner. And if you turn left, you will get to Todaiji. And if you keep straight, you will get to Kasuga Taisha. Firstly, let's go to Todaiji. Let's keep walking. <laughs> Here we go. Finally, we find the deer. They are smart enough to bow. Yeah, because they know if they bow, they can get the food. 
Oh, now is the season to change the hair, huh? So that's why there are shorter hair and the longer hair. <laughs> All right, let's feed them. Around this area, you can buy the deer cracker pretty much everywhere. Price is 200 Japanese yen. Here we go. We got the this much size and it's 200 Japanese yen. You don't have to worry about the paper. This paper, deer also can eat. So let's do it. That price was too crowded, so it's okay. Let's feed him. Oh, okay. Let me teach him bow. Yeah, without doing anything, he is bowing. He knows and he learns how to get the food. All right. Even I don't bow yet. Like, let me bow. <laughs> Good job. There you go. Goodbye. How about the other guy? He seems like pretty smart. I'm wondering if he bow. Here we go. Oh, but baby, he's not that hungry. Oh, are you okay? I kind of worried because he's not eating food. That's okay. Take care. Oh wait, he's eating the radio paper. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> okay, never mind. He's too concentrated. All right, so how about him? Here you go. Mm. <laughs> I guess he's sleepy. I don't think he's gonna bow though. He's like, leave me alone. Just leave the food there. Okay, here you go. Maybe he doesn't need any more. It's okay. Just leave it here. Well, you know, I realized something. Maybe, you know, because there are so many travelers here, so deer already got bored with the deer cracker. During the pandemic, they're always jumping for the deer cracker. But now, you know, there's so many tourists giving their cracker to the deer, so maybe they don't need any more, especially the deer in the main street. Yeah, I believe so. You see, even they don't have to fight for the deer cracker anymore. Yeah, <laughs> no wonder though. There you go. Yeah, they don't care about this guy over here. Here we go. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> he's eating it, but uh, he never stand up. <laughs> They were always running for the rice clucker. I miss those days. It's okay. It's okay. Oops. You know, time has changed. Anyway, so uh, let's walk in tour to the Todaiji Temple. In front of Todaiji, there is a huge gate. This gate called Nandaimon. This is the national treasure of Japan. The unique feature is that usually there is a second floor in the gate. However, this one directly going to the roof. On the side of the gate, there are two huge sculptures. They call Niozo. They are protecting the shrine. Small trivia. This side of sculpture opening mouth and this side of sculpture closing the mouth. That means starting from left to right. It is the symbol of infinity. <laughs> well, that trivia, actually I didn't know that, but the lady just told me. There's a kind lady over there. I got home. <laughs> Anyways, so let's keep learning. When you close the gate, don't step on this. All right, so let's keep walking. We're almost arriving to the Toad Daiji. Oh, there are so many deer over here. Well, since there are not that many deer clucker store here, seems like they are hungry. I should have bring the deer clucker until here. Now we arrive to Toad Daiji. I'm not planning to enter because we can see the temple from here too. There is a huge Buddha inside. The entrance fee is 800 Japanese yen. If you never visit here, definitely worth visiting it. So, 
if it's your first time, don't forget to visit here. Today, I think we can skip that because we have visited so many times. If you want to see how inside looks like, please check my other video. Anyways, let's keep walking to the next shrine. Speaking of the entrance fee of Todaiji Temple, they increased the price starting from April from 600 Japanese yen to 800 Japanese yen. However, so many people are still visiting the temple, so now they have more budget to fix the temple. So, good for them. Oh, I didn't know that we have a rental cycle over here. This one called Akachari. If you registered it, you can rent the bike. 30 minutes for 165 Japanese yen. It's pretty cheap too. So, why not? Let's do it. Wait. Seems like it's not working. Weird. Let me book the another one. San Ichi no no ni. Hope this one works. No, it doesn't work neither. Why? <laughs> Seems like it doesn't work. Never mind. <laughs> Let's keep walking to Kasuga Shrine. It takes a while from here. It takes about 10 minutes. So with bicycle, much faster. But walking is fine too. Hopefully, we can see beautiful sakura over there though. Since it's a bit far from the main area, not that many travelers here, huh? Oh, you know what? I should have saved the deer cracker until here. Probably they would run for the deer cracker though, because it seems like they are hungry. Last time when we visit here, we ate interesting porridge over there, huh? The matcha porridge, but seems like it's already closed today, huh? Oh, I didn't know we had the botanical garden over there. Huh, interesting. Anyways, so uh, let's keep walking toward the Kasuga Taisha. This object called Toro in Japanese. I'm wondering how many years they are here. We are almost there. Getting closer and closer, more and more people here. Very peaceful atmosphere. I love it. Hope we can find a deer clucker store again later so that we can feed the deer around here. Yeah, he seems like hungry too. Sweet, finally we arrived to the Kasuga Shrine. This place, people believe that the deer is the angel from God, so that's why they take care of the deer really well. I was expecting the sakura here, but <laughs> seems like no sakura tree, huh? Is this not blooming yet or originally they don't have the sakura tree? <laughs> I have no idea, but anyways, there is no sakura tree here. This is the place to clean your hand. The deer is holding something. It looks like a ninja, huh? It's almost there, so let's keep walking. Wow. Look at this tree. It's the mystery of nature. It becomes the gate. Last time when we were here, we used a different gate. But uh, this is the original way to get to the Kasuga Taisha. I'm wondering if we can find Sakura here. Let's keep walking. Inside the Kasuga Taisha, there are several interesting spots. I recommend you to visit here too if it's your first time to visit Nara. They have the deer-shaped Emma too. <laughs> So many different kinds of languages, yeah. International spot. Oh, that's Shirare Sakura. The Sakura is falling down, right? This kind of Sakura called Shirare Sakura in Japanese. Beautiful. This place continues to the mountain. All right, let's going back to the next Sakura spot. I got to feed the hungry deer too. Not already the full deer, hungry deer. 
right, so let's keep walking. Oh, maybe we can find the deer cracker here too. Let's get the deer cracker here. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's my first time to hear that the deer cracker is sold out. No wonder deer is already full. <laughs> Very interesting. Anyways, let's keep walking and let's find the deer cracker. Oh, sweet. I found the other bike parking spot. Let's rent a bike there. Hopefully this time I can rent the bike. Come on. Please. Sweet. All right, let's bike. With bicycle, it's much faster and easier. Yep, definitely. It's much faster than walking. <laughs> let's keep biking. Sweet. Oh, wait. Seems like there is a sakura spot. Let's park the bike here and let's go check. All right. Let's go. <laughs> it's like, no, sorry, I don't have the deer cracker. As you can see, deer can't eat the grasses. So even without deer cracker, they will not get starved. Seems like for them, this is a much better and a safer way to eat the food, huh? There are many sakura trees too. Beautiful. It's on the way to going to the Kasuga Shrine. So if you are visiting Kasuga Shrine and visiting Nara, don't forget to visit here too. Sweet. I can take beautiful shot here. Loving it. Sweet, it's always great to meet the new friend from Hong Kong. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Go! <laughs> Loving it. Oh, seems like the deer is fighting over there. Hope none of them gets hurt though. All right, so let's keep biking. Oh, look at this place. Here, we can see many sakura here. The white pink color one called Somei Yoshino, however, yeah, seems like still 60-70%, so after fully blooms, it will be much better though. Let's keep biking. Oh, it's almost the time of the sunset. Sweet. Maybe we can see the beautiful sunset around Nara Park. Seems like no more deer clucker selling. Yeah, I was expecting to see deer clucker lady around here, but seems like no more, huh? By the way, it is beautiful sunset. Sweet. We got the bike parking under the sakura tree. So I just returned it. I believe less than 30 minutes, so price is only 165 Japanese yen. Also here, we can see beautiful sakura with beautiful sunset too. I love this place. Look at the sunset. Mecha kirei. Beautiful in Japanese, kirei, kirei. So it's mecha kirei. Usually I see many deer around this corner too, but today, we don't see deer at all. Probably, maybe now is not the season. And look at that! Yes, it's 7-Eleven! Yes, that means time for coffee. Let's grab cafe latte. Oh, we have nice rest space here too. So many sake and also wine plus snack for beer. It must be perfect for Ohanami, watching the flowers and the drinking beer. But today, no, 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 no alcohol today. It's the cafe latte time. I love ice cafe latte, but since today it's cold, so I ordered a hot one though. It's 14 degrees right now. Pretty cold for the spring. So warm cafe latte will be better. Oof. Let's keep walking. Outside, it already gets dark on home. 
Ugh, psycho. <laughs> I don't know the reason why, but maybe because of the season or maybe because travelers giving the so many deer crackers already to the deer. There are not that many deer around here and I felt kind of weird. Now a park with so many deer, definitely that's better. So next time when we come back here, hopefully we can see many deer though. <laughs> well, by the way, my hair looks so weird. It's like the mash from the anime. Well, maybe this morning I didn't place wax much, but uh, yeah. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Let's keep walking. Oh my goodness. Sora ga moeteru. The sky is burning in Japanese. <laughs> I don't know when you can use it, but uh, small Japanese lesson. That's the gate we used. And here is the another gate. Let's go back to the number station. Seems like still in that station. Pretty busy though. Anyways, next train is from 6.40. So let's catch the train. Let's go. By the way, there's a train going to Kyoto too. But we are heading back to Osaka number though. The express one. Only takes 36 minutes. It's leaving from truck number three, so this is the way to go. Hopefully, we can take the seat though. Is this the one? Oh, this is the limited express line, so that means we have to pay another 600 Japanese yen. We have the regular train over there, so we gotta catch that one over there. Seems like it's almost leaving. We gotta go back. I'm gonna catch that train and take a seat. Let's go, 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 go. Yeah, this is the one. Leaving from platform number one. This one, we don't have to pay extra money. Sweet. Seems like still we have seat. So let's sit down. This train it takes 42 minutes. So it's about six minutes longer. However, we can save 600 Japanese yen. So definitely, I prefer this semi riveted one because we can save money. Anyway, so let's go back to Osaka. Ooh, finally, we came back to Namba Station. I was totally sleeping. Right now it's 7 30, so probably number station is super crowded. Let's see. Always rush hour time, number station becomes super crowded. If you were traveling in Japan with small kids or strollers, you gotta be careful around this time. The train will be super packed as well. Probably Nankai Namba Station Square is lighted up. So let's go back to the square. I like the night town atmosphere in Namba Town. It is also beautiful too. Yes, we just came back to the middle city. Remember that building, the Kabuki place? Yep, we were walking here on the noon time. Oh, the sakura is lighted up and it becomes more beautiful. After they finished construction and it became open space, this number station becomes much better. Alright, so hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. It will really encourage me to keep shooting videos and more adventures are coming. So if you haven't, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel too. For goal of 2024, hitting 200 subscribers. So I need your help. Arigato! Big thank you to all of the Patreons. If you haven't, please don't forget to check my Patreon account. Alright, so see you in the next video. See you next have a great day. Bye bye. It was used to be the table here, but I think that's one of the promotion. I love nighttime sakura. It's really beautiful. It is 13 degrees now. It's pretty chilly over here. It's already 4th of April. School spring break is almost over. Can't believe still Sakura is not fully blooming. I was planning to go into Kyoto this week, however, probably with a better way for the next week. Anyways, the Kyoto video is coming, so please look forward to it. See you soon in the next video.